Welcome back to another NFL update with Sham and Shibby. We uh, had two very different seasons with the teams we follow, For the Cardinals sure. and the Eagles. For sure, yeah, man. The Eagles, uh, we came out on top of our division for sure. Were you guys the number? You're the number one in the NFC, right? We were. Were yeah, fourteen and three. Yeah, fourteen I mean, and three. I uh, mean, I mean, we're not number one in the league overall anymore, no. but yeah, we were tied with the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. So you're number one in the NFC, well. which yep. is all that really kind of matters. You know, you won that. You won the NFC. Mm-hmm. And the Cardinals, <laughs> they uh, they didn't win anything. Yeah, they four were, games for to be to be fair. Yeah, they four were the 13. worst team in their. They division. were the, yeah, they were the worst team in their division. A season where. Their floor was being a wild card team, and yeah. their ceiling was being the, winning the West, no problem. And mm-hmm. they fucking four and thirteen, man. It is. I'm not gonna say like you know injuries didn't help things for sure. I don't think we had healthy offensive line by like week five. There was like no one that I even really. Everyone was moving uh, positions, playing things they're not used to playing. Right. It was a mess. Kyler obviously went down later on. Hopkins being suspended early on, but all of that, regardless. Our team was too talented on paper to go four and thirteen. Yeah, y'all no went out what. sad, man. We went out sad from the yeah. beginning. Like there was not even there was no fight in us when, like all those things could have happened and we could have missed the playoffs being like eight or nine win team, you know. Right. And then it would have been like okay, you know, shit happens. You know, the NFL is a hard game. It's a hard league. Mm-hmm. We didn't even like show up. We didn't even try. It, it was embarrassing. And thank fucking God. We fired Cliff Kingsbury, our coach. <laughs> I've been praying for it all season. Been waiting for it. This motherfucker is a college coach. He has no business playing in the NFL. He's supposed to be an offensive genius. And the worst part of the Cardinals was the offense. With Hopkins, Hollywood Brown, James Conner, Kyler Murray. It, something's not right, you know? And it's crazy because the fan base was, like, partially torn. Some people are saying, get rid of Kyler, Go for a new coach and maybe you're, you know, keep the coach, get rid of Kyler. It's right. Kyler's fault. Nah. And like, why would I you think, get rid of a generational talent quarterback with so much potential versus a, co- a coach who is sub 500? He's like sub 400. In yeah. His career in the Cardinals. I think, honestly, when it comes to the situation with them, um, I think a lot's going to take place this offseason. You know, Sean Payton. Yeah. I'm hoping we get Sean Hopefully Payton. Hopefully, you guys do get Sean Payton or a coach that can at least just change the coach. I mean, anyone. You know, anyone's better and, than what we and, got. Our and, GM's gone too. So you know, yeah. Nice. And I mean, and you know, he's going to have to heal Kyler. You know, then you've got yeah, yeah. the whole DeAndre Hopkins if he wants to leave and That's shit a, like I'm that. I'm so sad about that, dude. He's literally my favorite player right now. Yeah. And, and it, he's going to go out like this because of how bad we were. And I understand. And he, because he's getting older, man. Yeah. He you doesn't want to stick around. For, for what ifs, to, yeah, but especially with Kyler being, but man, hurt. he already played through this already, and now you're gonna leave the year. We might get Sean Payton, and we might fix things. He you might know. be able to shine, and imagine how much of a better story that is. You stuck it out, and you fucking come out on top now after this. Maybe they need to talk him off that cliff. Yeah, because watch him go over to Jacksonville or something like this, and then they don't even live up to what we think they are. Yeah, you know what talk, I mean. Talk him off that cliff. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta fucking, <laughs> you gotta fucking. <laughs> That's horrible. You gotta, you gotta fucking. Get I mean, him. you gotta give him to stay, man. At least one more season. We have him under contract for five years. That's the hardest part about it. He wants, he's demanding the trade at this point. Well, he hasn't yet, but he posted an Instagram post with him taking the Cardinals helmet off, yeah. saying "forever grateful." Yeah. But does that necessarily, ultimately, mean that he's requesting a trade? He didn't say like buy Arizona or anything like that. He left. He left yeah. it. Open because maybe he wants Arizona to come and you know be like, do you need more money? Do you need yeah, this? Do you, do you need, need that? This? Yeah. What, what do you we, what do you what need, do we to, need do? to do? Like maybe he yeah. wants a say in things. Like he wants to he wants to know who we're gonna get as the next coach. <laughs> He's not trying to stick around and stay here and then we get some bunk ass coach again who does more of the same. Yeah, I think uh, really what it's gonna be, it's just gonna come down to what what he feels is best for him. And yeah. He can't feel is best for him. The guys, uh, I see you guys are. You know, JJ. I'm sorry, JJ Watt is walking away. Yeah, JJ Watt is you know, walking so away. It's going to be a lot that's going to happen within this all season with you guys. I think it's better that you guys aren't even thinking about the playoffs right now. Just going to yeah. think about how to regroup and yeah. what's next from here. Yeah. I, at this at this point is baby steps. Yep. You know? I just can't handle another rebuild. Like, and, and I fra- hate that this you. franchise hasn't made has ever won a championship. We we're right on the cusp of having a window. Even if we don't win a championship, you know, I'll take a couple. Like, you know, really contending years, couple playoff years. I'll take that over a rebuild. I'm not trying to go back to this fucking 4-13 and 13 next year. 
and then maybe next year we go eight and fucking nine, and then finally the next year on Kyler's eighth or ninth year when he's going to be trending downwards with his yeah. age, you know, he's a mobile quarterback. He's not going right. to be able to be. He's not going to be Tom Brady playing when he's 44. You know, yeah. it's just not yeah. possible. He could look like Russell right now. He's going to be, yeah, he's going to have, his Which career is, is, he's in his prime right now. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. for us to be like fucking with it and, you know, being like, we're going to try this. We're going to try another rebuild. Another, you can't get rid of his number one receiver in Hopkins. You got you to gotta keep him. Like, they need to figure something out. It's, I'm, I'm a little pressed there with that. I was really happy about the Kingsbury firing. And then I got, it all turned upside down on me when they fucking announced that uh, Hopkins might want to trade. But I'm really tired of the Instagram posts, too, being the announcements for things, you know? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Why do I have to dig yeah, into the people, Instagram posts and try I, I to figure it out? I, I'm not I a fan it. of that. I hate it, bro. I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of it. I feel like if we're going to be looking at, like, the Instagram posts and shit like that, it got to be for the fun. It's yeah, gonna, yeah. Not like, oh, what's that. the update on him? Is he going to be traded? Yeah, what does the tweet I don't, say? I don't, I don't like that shit. Does his Twitter have the Cardinals in it still? No? Yeah, yeah like, come on. Did he take it out of his bio? Yeah, did he nah, delete the picture he had with Kyler Murray? Like, come on. It's so yeah, stupid. Like, it is dumb, bro. I missed when it was just, like, you know, came through the fucking... You know, you're watching ESPN, and then you're just like announced Hopkins got a trade or one yeah. of the Twitter now, you know, fucking uh, sports uh, no, what do you updates. Call it? Updates, yeah, yeah one you of those know, guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I mean, on the end of the Eagles, we finished out strong. Uh, Must be nice. I mean, we finished out strong in the sense of like we maintained our number one spot, you know, because for a minute there, if the Cowboys won this past week and we lost and. Some stupid shit happened. We could have lost, yeah. yeah, because we lost that game to the Cowboys with Gardner, uh, with yeah. Minshew Sharp was, yeah. blah, blah, blah. with Minshew, <laughs> can't talk when Minshew, Minshew started. was started, yeah. yeah. So with that, and um, you got the whole um situation with Jalen Hurts, his throwing shoulders fucked yeah. up right now. So, oh wow, I feel like. We're working back towards uh, getting him in the lineup because with a week off, we got a little more time to get our quarterback mm -hmm. back together. You know, our all line, our defense, everybody's get a chance to heal up, yeah. and you know, we get to see who we get to face. Yeah. So from there, you know, we game plan from there. But either way, we already looking at film. I would imagine we getting ahead of it. So yeah, that's a nice, the bye week will definitely do you guys yeah. some good, especially with uh, Hurts being hurt. Mm -hmm. Didn't yeah. mean to make the joke there, but <laughs> yeah, but I'm I'm glad, man. I'm glad that we got this little advantage, you know. And I'm confident in us. I'm not saying that we're gonna be the ones to win it all, but I'm confident. In I what could we can see do. Eagles Chiefs Super Bowl. I would with love the Chiefs it. winning. No, I mean, no, no hard feelings. It's but no I, hard feelings I, to me because Patrick we never, Mahomes is. We never pictured else. this. We yeah. never pictured yeah. this. No. So you know, you overachieved just, already. I mean, if you lost the first I, round, you over you were. I don't, I don't even. Season. I don't. I don't. I don't even think that. Like, I don't want to lose in a. Well, in yeah, first, obviously, you never want to yeah, lose in the first. round. I don't want to lose in our first game. Of course, because like, I think this determines. Uh, but I wouldn't if say we it face hurt, like hurts. the Forty Nine ers Legacy. If you I guys think, did lose in the first round, I wouldn't hurt you guys going right. forward. I think you guys could bounce. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wouldn't be mm -hmm. a. It would just. It would be a little humbling, but I think like you guys are built to withstand a first round exit if it did happen. So I wouldn't be too worried. Right, I think though uh, we would face the winner. I don't think it's gonna happen. The Cowboys and um, the fucking Giants. Or, no, the no. Cowboys and Seahawks? the fucking Who? Bucks. Bucks, Bucks. That's, oh. that's yeah, because they're the four or five. I can't believe since Bucks. we're the one seed, we would face the winner of that yeah, game. Yeah, I would yeah. believe, and uh, go from there. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I, I think, wonder who. Dude, that'd be hilarious for Tom Brady to beat the Cowboys. I mean, bro, he's never season. lost to him. I hope he does. Remember, I hope he's he seven and zero. Oh. I hope if he, he beats beat the Cowboys, bro. I will be so hyped because Eagles beat Tom think, Brady I think again. We'll beat, yeah, I think Eagles we'll, beat Tom yeah, Brady we'll again. Their ass. Or we'll Brady said, ass. "Nah, I lost yeah. my wife. I'm not losing another championship. Nah, we'll he's coming for ass. you guys. We'll wax their ass. If we I, see them, we wax them." No I think you beat both those asked. teams. I think yeah. you beat either. I think yeah. the Cowboys. You finally think, play them at their your full like potential. Yeah, I think and we're we'll gonna see ass. them and we're gonna bust their ass because yeah. that boy be throwing. They think them it's picks. sweet. Oh, and that two and shit. Yeah. yeah, they think they beat you guys twice and nah, think it's all sweet. Fuck no, they nah. get out of here. They don't I match mean, your Everybody think they can score against us, but you know we getting healthy. Yeah. That's the thing about it. Yeah, like we've had time to get healthy. And we went 14 and 3 with all this time, you know? Yeah. So I love it, bro. But going into that, the Brady's last rodeo here, do you think this is his last year? Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. Do? I don't. He's done. I don't. He's got to be I done. Don't. Nobody's going to win don't. back. The Bucks will. The Bucks got to move on. No. They have to move on. They won't. Nope. They don't and they won't. It's Tom Brady. Whether you like him or not, he's the, he's the over, GOAT. Bro. And it's he's over. not. He's not. I thought he would be too, dude. 
His, he lost his wife, bro. He's got nothing left. He's got nothing left to go home to. He didn't leave his wife to play one more season of football. He left his wife to stay his ass to fuck nah, here. He's done, bro. He's staying, bro. Especially if he nobody's like, gonna let him like come okay, on. Okay, if he wins the Super Bowl, was. he'll walk off. If he wins the Super Bowl, he walks no. off. If the Cowboys beat him right here, he stays. No. I'm telling you, bro. No. He stays. No. He can still play. No. He can still play as much as I don't even. He, I had him as a fantasy quarterback. I think he's ass this season. He he fucked me over. Nine point game, <laughs> Tom Brady. It's terrible, but no. I think he's coming back, man. I doubt it. How about Packers getting eliminated by the Lions? That's fucking... That's awesome. That's beautiful. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Just being from Chicago. I'm not a yeah. Bears fan, but it's still nice yeah, to see. Yeah, just being from the region, it is a beautiful thing to see. I wish Detroit would have like, made it, man. I wish Detroit would have made it. I mean... They deserved it. Just seeing... Yeah, for real. The way they played, they played hard, man. They were 1-6 and six at a point. And that yep. tells you, you know, like, the, they... I feel like they're better right now than the Seahawks were. Yeah, are oh, right yeah. Now. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. No question. No Seahawks question, just had bro. a better start. I think everybody has a chance to make it. I really think that, um, I mean, they had a chance to make it, but, like, the Packers, I'm glad that they got eliminated. The Packers being eliminated is probably the best thing I heard, like, that past Yeah. Season. Yeah, I wonder what they do next season, man. They're dumb because they played themselves out of a draft spot, and now they're not even in the playoffs. Honestly, I think that— It's um, rough. They deserve it. They need a couple decades of being bad after all of it. They went from Favre to Rodgers. They can they can live with being bad for a couple years. Mm, I think that, yeah, like, because Jordan Love isn't going to be what they want him to be, I think. No. You know, so I think that shit is kind of like, that ship is going to, like, that ship is sailed. I think the whole Rodgers, you know, even though they signed him that type of money, like, who else would take him at this point? I heard rumor mills. This is, like, very rumors, but... Titans, and that would be a badass See? team, bro. Titans, Rodgers. Yeah. I feel win. like Titans, Colts. That's some his chance to come back. It because it's like they'll take them because they're like, we need change. So they'll take Rodgers. Even for I, a bridge quarterback, just for a couple seasons yeah. while they get someone underneath him. Yep. Why wouldn't you? You know, if, you, if you're not winning anything in the next couple seasons anyway, Why you not? might as well gamble on Rodgers and, hey, maybe you fucking somehow do win. You know, you squeak mm -hmm. into the playoffs and all of a sudden Rodgers does some miracle shit. Hits a couple of Hail Marys. Who knows? You know, he's, it is Rodgers at the end of the day. You know, you always give him that chance. So I would like to see him go to Tennessee, man. I, I think would that like would be it. cool. Derrick Henry with Aaron Rodgers, they both just make sure it look better. Yep. They don't even have, have that great receivers with Aaron Rodgers. He, yeah. makes, he makes okay receivers look good, you know? Yeah. So if they just get him a, a solid couple, line and shit like draft that. Draft a couple receivers, get one through mm -hmm. free agency. Hey, they have an okay defense. It's not the. I mean, it's bad. I think this year, but I think it's like an underperforming bad. It could be. It could be. It fixed. could be better. You know, yep. it could be fixed. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, I think that would be a good start, man. I yeah. don't know. I would. I, like I would it. do that. But Packers with Aaron Rodgers, I think their future's fried. There's no chance. Yeah, I think after Adams walked away, it was then. You it, know, it, I think even the breakup that. hurt both of them, but it hurt Rodgers more because Rodgers just he just didn't look the same at all yeah, at any point in this year can know? we can we please laugh at Devonte Adams though for talking about Derek Carr looking just or uh yeah Derek Carr looking oh, yeah. just like fucking uh what do you call and, it? Yeah, <laughs> Rodgers. Rodgers. And, uh, so our Derek notes, Carr. We, you put David Carr in our I'm notes. I'm sorry. And yeah. I was like thinking, I was like, wait, because there is, da I know David Carr too. Yeah. And I was like, wait, no, it's Derek. Yeah, I'm tripping, bro. Fucking but whack ass Derek Carr. Derek Carr's done. I finally. Mean, they finally so he said, went we home. Gotta, yep, we got to sever ties. They're fucking done. They said, we think it's better if you just, you know, just don't didn't come show back. Up. I mean, and you can, man, you can tell that shit hurt him, man. I feel yeah, bad. Yeah, he made a whole dude. post. I mean, I felt yeah. bad on a personal level. I don't feel bad on a sports but, level. Yeah, bro, like on a ass. performance level, it was his time to go, man. And I, I was saying yeah, this shit all. They season. did him a little dirty, but the, why didn't even they? Did, they kept him along way too long. Anymore. Way. Why too was long. he around anymore? Way too long. Bro. He started he, for he, four or five more seasons than he should have. He should have making millions. With, so yep. then again, that's why I don't feel bad. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, what your feelings got hurt? He stayed You're with rich, a lot of different coaching. Like, uh, with all the coaching changes, he's been there, you know? Yeah. And it's just like they still kept him at center. And he's and bad under every coach. That tells yeah, you something. Or yeah. mediocre at best I mean, under every coach. And, and, I mean, granted, he had that one year where he was really balling and he got hurt in the playoffs so, or before the playoffs. So it was like, you know, that's kind of like his story, man. Yeah. I feel bad for him. But I'm sure he'll find a home somewhere a if he's not there. As a backup. Yeah. He'll I think. find a, I mean, shit. Who no, knows? yeah. Who like, knows, bro? Somebody else will give him a chance and yeah. they might see something that nobody else did. 
He's always been in that toxic ass environment. Oh, we gonna be in L.A. Oh, we. I mean, we gonna be in Las Vegas. Oh, we gonna be in Oakland. And yeah, that's true. All this that's goofy true. Shit that's been going on with them for the last like eight to nine years, man. From the fucking uh, uh, John Gruden shit, all the yeah, extra shit, yeah. bro. So I mean, that's no excuse for his performance, but. You know, there's no consistency. Just imagine if he had somebody behind him that actually gave a fuck for like eight years. Yeah. You know, who knows? I'm not saying it would have made him better, but I mean, it could have. Yeah, you know, for sure. Just having some consistency, but the team always had turmoil. And like when they were halfway good, they traded Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper for nothing. Yep. Yeah. You know? I remember that. And then Henry that. Ruggs and it's just everything, bro. Like they just kind of fell victim to a lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like the Cardinals. So I don't even, that's why maybe I don't feel bad. I'm jaded because I'm yeah. like, it just shit happens to us all the time, you know? Right. Get but, a taste of our medicine. But uh, so yeah. playoffs here. Obviously, you're rooting for the Eagles. If somehow they get eliminated, who would you be rooting for? Because I have to obviously pick a team to cheer for since I'm not, I'm my team's not in these, not even close. Uh, I kind of want to root for the Jaguars. You know me I like too the underdog because I'm, I'm a Doug yeah. Peterson guy. Yep. And you know, and another team I always got like a love for is, uh, you know, Andy Reid. Yeah, can, and the Kansas fucking City. Kansas City. Me too. You know? I love I like Kansas City. So, I liked them before they were, you know, this good too. I've always like I've always never minded the Kansas yeah, City even Chiefs. With Alec, when they got yeah, Alec, yeah. Uh, Smith I didn't shit. mind them being okay. good. And yeah. then Patrick Mahomes was who I wanted to draft years ago mm-hmm. for the Cardinals. And, you know, I've always said that he's gonna be great. And look at he's it. on the way to be the best quarterback ever. I yeah. mean it, it, the rate, only person that'll have more accolades than him is Brady because he played for fucking thirty years, you know? Yeah, pretty so much. that's different, but he's gonna break every other stat record number. He already is. He's it's hard to win as many Super Bowls as, as Brady did in a team such you know, sport. Yep. The Chiefs are probably gonna fall apart at some point here. Mm-hmm. You know, Kelsey's gonna get older, things are gonna happen. And Mahomes might not be able to age as well as Brady, but right, right. now, man, like in his prime, I'm taking Mahomes crazy. over Brady prime. Oh yeah, I really Easily. am. Easily, I really am because Brady's prime was never like, oh my god, it's he's going slash to... game manager. It's yeah. like a, it's like a, it's the best game manager ever. If that yep. makes sense, not in a, I don't yep. even that as a knock. You almost mm-hmm. want that more in a sense yeah. to help you win games. But that's why I, I always Mahomes the little flip passes and shit. Yeah. He's so it's, fucking fun to I watch. I never was dude. a fan of that two thousands quarterback. Like I said, yeah, yeah. like the, the I, I always hated Peyton Manning's game. Yeah, Pey- I hated it. It's I hated boring. It. It's good, but it's boring. Yeah, it's so boring, bro. Yeah. That's why I'm like, you know, I don't, you know, again, might be just a cultural bias, but the Michael Vicks, you know, <laughs> fuck that's gonna get dirty, bro. Like I'm like, and like then they gonna sling that bitch. Yeah, I yeah, love it, bro, yeah. because it's like it's like more fun to watch. Yeah, it's like it, it is entertaining, and then on top of that, you just get to see like all the the. Like, damn, like, this motherfucker is talented. Like, you really hey, do. Man, you ain't never seen that motherfucker juke nobody. Ah, he couldn't. But he, he gets you with his brain. Snap his own ankle trying to do it. Yeah, 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 but he gets you with his brain and his yeah, arms. Yeah, he's a smart you know? motherfucker, little Steve Nash of football last night. Uh, he really that's he is. That's funny. This he is a the smart Steve. motherfucker. That's all he is. John Stockton of football. He is the Steve yeah, Nash of football. Just boring as shit. But, uh, so, man, the we got to talk about the, the fucking terrible thing the yeah, Bills and Bengals. Game. Yeah, Demar Hamlin nearly dying. That was crazy. Yeah. How do you insane? Obviously, before we even get into how we feel with the NFL, uh, handled it. You know, prayers up to the guy. I think he's mm-hmm. all healthy now at this point. Everything's okay. So you know, hope things I'm, continue to be good for I'm, him. For one, I'm glad that they did just continue the game That's that night. That night, because, but because I just didn't know. Like, like, all right, how could so you we sit there talking and play, about? Bro. Yeah, how could yeah. you sit there and play when your buddy, your friend, know. or you know, yeah, almost died. You like, know, like, it, like you don't know the his. What imagine being at work is. and that happening to like your next yeah. buddy. You're not gonna. You're gonna be. I'm gonna take the day off. You know, I'll come back maybe tomorrow. Yep. We'll see. Mm-hmm. But that being said, they'll come back tomorrow or later that week or whatever. Play the game. Like they needed to. Re- they needed to I reschedule think, the I game. I think at some point of time they did need to find a way to pl- try to play the game again, simply because we went through the whole COVID shit and they found multiple ways to play games. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I'm not saying like, oh, uh, I don't know what the situation was to why they couldn't find the another way to play a game. The Bills didn't want to. They felt. People argued that it was like some woke shit, and the Bills were like being like, "We don't feel, we don't want to be pressured to play this game anymore. It's too much for us to think and handle. Let's just move on." So it's like, well, then if the Bills just just quit the wonder, quit the league, no, drop out. I wonder, I wonder if the done. organization do that. They did that on purpose because when I'm honestly, you look at logistics of it. It's so if they would have lost that game, 
they're still technically tied with the Chiefs. If the Chiefs and the Bills play in the AFC Championship game, they play in a neutral site. Mm -hmm. So they took away the Chiefs' home field advantage. So it, it's kind of like they're using woke culture because they know all the fans will be like, you can't make them play if they don't want to play, you know? And they're kind of doing that and like, let's just take this free that like pass on a game that's that kind of hard. Thing. Yep, if, if, yep, if it's that, upper if office. That's the case. If that's the case, that has to be an organization. It's front thing. office shit. Because that's not a player thing. No, it's not. I, I, I don't. I'm think, pretty sure Hamlin would want Josh them to Allen play. And them, yeah, whatever. They would want like, them yeah. to play. I don't think Josh Allen no, would ever no, turn it's down. It's the other the people telling them that you Joe can't. Barrow yeah, no, yeah. it's that. So no. they're basically saying like they don't want to risk it. They don't want to. It's too traumatic for them to go back and try to play that game over. Let's just move on. Nah, that's I fucked mean, up. You know, just and they I literally stole the Chiefs. Home field advantage from them, basically. Yeah. If they get that far, if the Bills lose before, the Chiefs will still get the home field advantage and all that. Hey, I don't, I don't know what to say about it. But it, obviously, it's not that important. But it is pretty important that it like was on the fantasy championship game too, mm -hmm. and it fucked over millions of NFL fans money potentially. Like if you were in a high stakes league who bets mm -hmm. thousands of dollars, yep, that could have been a very huge chunk of money that they just robbed from you because a game got canceled that was deciding it was the last game. But yeah, so imagine being in a high stake league and you just lose all your money because a game ended on some freak incident and they refused mm -hmm. to reschedule it. And yep. so they just treated that as like a bye week. So I guess like the players just didn't count anymore. Yep. And and I w I had T Higgins that game. Yeah. And um nothing. Yep. Could have been and, something totally different. And our league was set up a little bit different because I fucked up on the setup in the beginning. I rushed it and did like standard PPR. Mm -hmm. And I guess it was the champ. So our championship game, or I'm honestly, I take that back. I don't even know if it's just how our like ESPN did it or something, but I guess they used the final week as the championship week. You know, most right. fantasy leagues were done from that game. Like the yeah. DeMar Hamlin thing, that was the last game. There was not supposed to be another week. See, it And it ended it. Right there. So like on Monday, you so Monday. So Sunday was the last fantasy. That was the fantasy championship game. Monday night yeah. didn't count. They erased all the points. They counted as a buy. Yeah. So they didn't. They erased all that. And then like who won on Sunday? Mm. So our league was a little different. Where it like postponed it, and we played with like the shitty. It's kind of shitty though because people sit and people don't try as hard in the final week of the season. Yeah. You know? Just like. So yeah, that's why yeah. they usually do fantasy seasons or uh, fantasy championships the week prior. But because of this injury thing, it like postponed ours a week later or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I missed like a, a chance to like accept or deny that because I don't yeah. think I said it that way. I don't know. It didn't make sense to me. It was like a three week championship game. You know what I'm trying to say? Pretty like, much. Didn't, it was, so it was, I mean, it confused I mean, me. it, it was really, confusing. And I mean, you, you I got shit the bed. Up. Yeah, I got runner up. I shit the bed. I didn't play Mike Evans when he got three touchdowns and like two hundred yards or some crazy shit. That's and um that was my fault. And I think also that week when I didn't play him was the same week I played T. Higgins. Who, oh yeah. yeah. So like you, so, you would have flipped those yeah, around. It was it was uh it was literally it hurt. So I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, and I, you, I, I'm retiring. He he got to come back next year. He he knocked I'm me out of the retiring. playoffs, man. He beat me because of the, the the week Kyler Murray got hurt. Uh, I had Hopkins playing, and Hopkins I lost by basically what would have been Hopkins touchdown, and I needed Hopkins to get a touchdown. Kyler Murray gets hurt in the third play of the game. By the end of the game, we have our third stringer in, so you know how that fucking went. Didn't get it. He gets in the playoffs, and then he gets all the way the runner up to lose to this this uh, freak shit. But I think you need to come back next season. You got to come back. It's good content when we face each other and I piss you off at the four touchdown Kelsey game or whatever it was. I have nothing left to say. Wipe that shit off! <sighs> uh!